everyone, it's Cass. Welcome back to my channel, What Cass Read. Today, we are going to do my spoiler-filled discussion, gush video of Mad Shit by Robin Hobb. <sighs> Remember back in the day, not so long ago, that I said that I hated pirate books? Here we are. This was my favorite book that I read in the month of January. Five out of five stars. I cannot. First thing that I have to talk about, Althea, Greg, and Brashen. I'm not typically a fan of love triangles. I was a fan of this. Once Greg makes his position known to Althea, I think I was with Althea on all of her emotions in every single choice that she made regarding these men. Greg was the safe choice and she knew that and she entertained it because she's a smart woman. She entertained the idea of being Greg's wife and she also considered Brashen as just like, let's not talk about it. I don't want to embarrass my family. Let's just move forward. I'm sorry that it meant more to you than it meant to me, but you know, let's just move forward and don't bring it up in front of my mom. Jeez. I was with Althea every step of the way. And that just doesn't happen to me often when I read about love triangles. I believe Robin Hobb writes females the way that she always wanted fantasy females to be written. Every step in Althea's decision making regarding the men made sense. And when she finally has that conversation with Greg, he's, he's pouring his heart out to her, but he's putting all of the blame on Brashen. He says, you know, he was a man, he should be able to control his lust. And Althea, in that moment, I was so in love with it, where she was just like, this is, you know, in her mind, in her heart, she knew it was never going to work out. Because Greg was never going to be able to accept Althea's place as a captain of a live ship. And that's always been Althea's number one goal. And that's what made her move on from Greg. She says goodbye to the stable guy. She says goodbye to the stability of what this relationship could have meant for her and her family and says, no, you don't understand me. Oh, I loved it. And it wasn't until that point where she's like, I kind of do like Brashen, but Vivacia is number one to me. Oh my God. Okay, you know what? It's like, yes. Malta, let's talk about Malta. Malta reigned supreme in this book. I can't even, I, she was really vapid and she was really flat, but she wasn't obnoxious about it in the first book. I mean, she was obnoxious, but it was also in the way that 13 year old girls are obnoxious. So when Malta realizes that everybody around her is gonna let her down and only numero uno is gonna take care of things, as in Malta is gonna be the only one to make shit happen for Malta, mm, that became her motivation. It wasn't out of some frilly love story. It wasn't because she wanted riches and she wanted to um, be treated like a queen that reign. I mean, he, he clearly cares for her and he clearly threw, you know, he put his best foot forward when he was courting her, but it wasn't because of that that made her choose him. It was because everybody else let her down and she was the only one who could take care of number one. She was the only one who could take care of business the way that she wanted it done. And then at the heart of it, she's still a daddy's girl. I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting that from her. Hmm. And then Ronica, Ronica is a boss, but my God, if that was her, if that was her scene, like saying deuces to the world, let's go have a cup of tea. Mm-hmm. And she's always probably going to be my number one, uh, my number one, my champion of the Vestrip family. Althea and Malta just kind of play flip flop. And let's give credit where credit is due. Kefria has really transformed. Um, she's been a little bit slow to the game, I think. I also have to say that I'm a little bit disappointed in Vivacia. I don't know what your all thoughts are on Vivacia, so please leave them in the comment section below. Um, again, no spoilers for Ship of Destiny, but I'm pretty disappointed in her. I understand that it's because she's a brand new live ship and she's experiencing all these things and she's experiencing all these feelings and you know, she doesn't know what she's doing, but it doesn't matter. I'm pretty disappointed in her because if she has all of the memories of the entire Vestrit, of three successful generations of the Vestrits, what is she doing? What is she doing? I mean, you're really gonna throw all your chips in with a pirate that you really know nothing about, but you know everything about the Vestrits. Am I alone in this? Please put some comments in the comment section below. You know, Wintro is experiencing this inner conflict and she's supposed to be bonded to Wintro, but she's just like, screw you, man. You didn't want to be bonded to me in the first place. Like, 
what are you doing? I don't like that at all. And then there were a couple of other scenes that were so crazy. So number one, the scene where uh, Wincho cuts off Captain Kennet's leg on the ship deck, my stomach turned. Like I really just wanted to gag when I was reading that. So that was really well written. My stomach turned. Ugh, gross. Um, and then the other thing was when Kyle is left alone in the basement of Kenneth's old manor house. Whoo, that was savage. This whole Kyle and Wintrow, the turns of their life, I am never ready for it. And I approve wholeheartedly of what has been done to their whole storyline. Every turn that their lives have taken, I'm not ready for, and it's amazing. So that was so savage. Robin Hobb, how did you do that? How did you do that to one of your main guys? I thought it was crazy, so whoa. The dragons seem kind of mean, so that, we got that going for us. I don't know what to expect moving forward. I'm really at a loss. This book stands on its own as a second book. This is not your typical bridge book and I love it. So huh, five out of five stars. If you have anything to add, please leave it in the comment section below and let's talk, let's discuss. Or you can find me on any of my social media. I'm on Twitter, Instagram, at WhatCastRed. You know the drill. I'm also on Goodreads. You know the drill. Let's talk about this book. You guys know how these videos end. I'll talk to you later. Bye.